Get your fingers out. Describe the film in one 12 word sentence. Oh no! One. This movie was really fun to make because it is so relevant. Oh, that's it amazing. 12. It meets the 12 word criteria. A dialogue comedy with lyrical components dramatizing the decline of millennials. The 11 are. Of millennial generation. Next question. <laughs> How do you think the pandemic will fit into the future of storytelling? I have an answer to this. No. I think it will be absolutely, resolutely avoided. I think it's a, I think it's a very, um, it's like a no-go zone. And um, that's one of the reasons it was such a pleasure to wade into it on this movie, because nobody wanted to really go there. But the movie ends up being very, very pleasant despite it all. Yeah. yeah. Especially in part because of the charm of the performers. I think people will, you know, cower in fear after they've seen their movie and not want to touch it because they'll be intimidated. It's box office poison. I, <laughs> given the seriousness of the current cultural moment, is it a challenge to make a story that has fun with queer, trans, identity, and culture? John, anybody? Uh, is it a challenge? No, I think both Seda and I come by that sort of irreverence around issues of identity very naturally. Yeah. Um, I think you don't get anywhere by being super precious or moralistic or, you know, um, and I think it was really thrilling for us to, to be a little more free. I think it's not challenging, and especially in our case, in our movie, our movie is not like just about like queer issues or whatever. Yeah. It just, it's so broad. It's about so many different other topics, you know, like the Middle East, for yeah. example. Exactly. Yeah. Give it to what us. What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever been caught on camera doing? Anybody? Um, I mean, I've talked about people when the mic's been on, <gasps> like in between takes, and then you're like, holy shit, they just heard that. Really. It was about me, right? Not really. Never, uh, not, I mean, not during this shoot, guys. Uh, okay. No, not during this yeah. one. Most embarrassing thing for me is probably a, my senior year performance of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. It's on camera. It's on camera. <laughs> and my mom has a picture of me framed in the scene. In a, it was just, it was, I played Is it her favorite? Wow. Well, John's a home address is 15. <laughs> so go get that tape, leak it to the LA Times. We have one final question. What? One final question. No, Very important question. There's not an infinity of important questions. That's true. Yeah, There's true. maybe three or four. Yeah. If you had your own shady party house, what would go on there? <laughs> Ooh, a shady party house. Shady, not shady. Then the total washlets. What's that? They're like the bidet things that fit on top of the toilets. Oh, like a Hello Tushy? Or what? No, they're a little classier than the Tushies. Classier than that. You know, they got the seat warmer and the whole thing. So you would class the place up a little bit. Yeah, so you, you know, from party. Jersey, it's what we do. I think it would be like an anarchy house, you know? There you go. That's It'd be a very, it would be about something important. Yeah, Not yeah. just revelry and hedonism. Yeah. I am very domestic, so I, I it's, I would, I would maybe do something with movies. Oh, well, you know, different movies mm. for different rooms, different st kind, like different, um, styles of movies, but really make the movie watching experience very pleasurable and enjoyable. Oh, that's a very good idea. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. Thank I will you. develop that a little bit. I would shoot a movie. Shoot a movie. Oh. Which is what we've done. We found a dilapidated <laughs> house and we shot a movie there. It was like a little back lot.